Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lewis and this is Metal Lens Reviews. What's up? Hope you're all doing well. So if this is your first time here, you're checking out my channel, you like what you see, thank you. Please do me that favor of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course motivates me and provide you guys more stuff to watch. Alright, so we're back at it and we got another one we're going to be reacting to with Diana Ankodanova. Uh, it's called Quiet Outpost and this is a very recent video. Um, a couple days ago, I believe, and it's a performance at the Nika Film Awards, which is a Russian film festival. I've actually been watching a few Russian movies lately, and I might do a, re a review on one of them, so stay tuned for that. Um, I believe uh, I didn't really deep dive too much in uh, the knowledge part of this video, or performance, I should say. Uh, I believe it's a tribute performance to... Um, Russian maybe filmmakers or the creative team behind films that have passed possibly um, Let me know if that's right, but that's that's the kind of vibe I'm getting just by the uh, the thumbnail and the little bit of uh, description. I've read uh, Anyway, I'm interested uh, to hear how she sounds. I mean Diana has been Perfection every time I've listened to her very creative in her choice of how she um uh, enunciates words and just sings in general, you know, she's just a really robust performer and uh, I'm glad, thanks to you guys, uh, I've been exposed to her and um, yeah, been kind of checking her out ever since. All right, well, let me stop yapping, cue this video up and we're about to react to this together. All right, guys? All right, so this is once again Diana Ankodinova with Quiet Outpost, live from the Nika Film Awards. Теперь не скоро довернусь да ли на его во сне. Сколько в ожидании грусти, как в прощании совсем. So just look at the crowd and look at the attention, how they all just kind of stood up. Because this is, a, this is obviously a, a tribute to uh, these people we're witnessing on screen here. And, uh, you know, paying uh, respect to, you know, the, uh, you know, Russian film artists and the creative teams, like I mentioned, who were all a part of it, I believe. Um, like I said, I, I really can't translate Russian, so um, it just, from what I'm getting at, that's what it looks like. Uh, anyway, yeah, remarkable performance right off the bat. Uh, I love the, uh, just the attention and the, just the, well, obviously, you know, when someone's performing, you want to give them your full attention, but I mean, it's really, really, they're driving it through here, the, uh, the audience, you know, um, they're just like, you know, like really kind of taking it in, you know what I mean? This is a very emotional moment. Um, and, uh. Diana here is definitely, uh, you know, paying homage to that, which is awesome. Uh, once again, you know, she she's stunning. Her voice is stunning, and it's just a very, very smooth song. I'm not sure if this is something she composed or her team composed or a cover, maybe. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. Regardless, she always, anything she's given or creates, she does really well. No surprise there. 
It's a very kind of laid back, melodic song. Very, very warming. Very uh, has a nice um, allure to it. You know, you just you can kind of get lost in the song. You know what I mean? It's real captivating. Kind of draws you in and uh, demands your attention. And uh, yeah, very very fitting song for this moment. All right, let's keep going. В теплой сине радух струнами звеня, а теперь дожди косые все на вылет сквозь меня. Sorry to cut her off there, but I mean, look at the intensity, you know, that stare she's doing, that, you know, just the way her face is just kind of going with the motions. Like I said, a very emotional event, very emotional situation, everything about it, you know, just bleeds this, you know, emotional state. I said emotional three times. Um, yeah, and you could just tell, you could read it off her face, you know, um, she's really just kind of giving it, you know what I mean, singing-wise. This is a very, very, you know, big, wide song that just kind of uh, en encapsulates the, the moment, you know. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's not just paying respect to all these people. Um, you know, I mean, the audience themselves just, you know, it's, it's one of those moments where it's kind of like when your country's national anthem you know, you, you pay attention to not just the person singing, you kind of take in the moment, you know what I mean? You know, especially if you're proud where you come from, whether it be Russia, or Germany, or Italy, or America. When you hear, and if you're a, you know, a patriot, you know, if you're patriotic to your country, you're going to rise to your national anthem and pay attention to the surroundings, what's going on, the singer, and that's this kind of moment, you know. Obviously, this is a different um, situation, but... Regardless, it's they're proud. Yeah, you know, the Russians are very proud, not just of their country, but of their art, whether it be, you know, paintings or music or film, you know, and it shows, you know, and uh, I think uh, Diana is doing a really great job of projecting that, and the audience is just there, you know, like I said, absorbing it, you know, being in the moment, and that's uh, pretty remarkable. All right, let's keep going. <laughs>
you know, I gotta say that um, for the length of this, you know, we're looking at what, like five five minutes and forty two seconds, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm just to show you the amount of people that are being shown on the screen. You know, like I said, it's a big deal. Um, I don't know too much about the Russian film industry, but I know it's interesting enough, and it's just different. It really is. Um, the very few Russian films I own or that I've seen, it's a striking difference. You know, I mean, so is some of the Eastern countries. By Far East, I mean like India, China, Japan. You can really tell them all apart, but Russians have their own unique cinema style, you know, um, and it stands out. And every one of these individuals, who I assume were involved somewhat in the film industry, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's something to be uh, proud of, right? You know, why not? Why wouldn't you, right? You know, you, you dedicate it, you dedicate um, performances and uh, events like this to showcase, you know, the greatness that was and the greatness that's coming, you know, and uh, I can't think of a better performer to, uh, you know, make that concrete and, uh, you know, pay respects to, uh, you know, everyone who made, you know, the Russian film industry what it is today and continues to make it what it is today. So, yeah, um, so far, so good. Great performance. We've got a little bit left. I'm going to finish it out and I'll give you guys my uh, final thoughts. All right. I think that kind of speaks for itself, right? Um, yeah, it was an awesome performance, hands down, without a doubt, obviously. Diana, um, she's always on point, you know. There's no way to critique her in any way, you know. A good performance is a good performance, call it like it is, you know. Um, that was, obviously, it was a very personal performance. You could tell, just read off the people's faces. Um, very, very serious, very, like I said, into the moment. Uh, some people were crying. Some people, like I said, were just kind of taking that moment in, just kind of being there, you know, uh, what's interesting, you know, uh, obviously this was a personal event and I, I, I doubt, you know, everyone here is pretty serious. Obviously they, they know the, uh, the load down, but uh, you know, it's comforting not seeing people pull out their phones and, you know, record like we do it, you know, we see at concerts, uh, certain events anyway. So, but like I said, this was definitely very, not just emotional, but personal and, you know, a sense of pride, obviously, you could, you could definitely read that, uh, um, her performance, once again, outstanding, very, very, just, like I said, on point, there was no faults in it, uh, I thought she did a great job, and I mean, you, you know, you gotta think of it, you know, uh, I don't know about you guys, if you ever, you know, did anything on stage, whether it be a play, a theater play, or performed in a band, or some kind of music performance on stage, stage fright, that's a thing, you know, so imagine, you're not just uh, being a singer on a really big event, you know, that's paying uh, homage to a bunch of, you know, Russian artists that are, you know, no longer with us, and they're you know, celebrating their career through this montage here, that's, that's a lot of weight on your shoulders, but I think she handled it, I didn't see one sense of nervousness at all, um, she did it very professionally, and um, that's why I think she's, you know, raising, uh, you know, the bar and just going through the ranks, you know, rising up to stardom, as they say, Russian style. And, um, yeah, but awesome, hands down. I enjoyed it. Like I said, you could feel the emotion in the room without even being in there. So, yeah, definitely an A-plus performance. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, that was uh, Diana Akoninova with... Quiet Outpost, uh, live at the Nika Film Awards. 
So uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, my friends, I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.